7.2% increase. This is a China's defense spending, military expenditure for 2023. It's a new increase uh, from in these four years from 66%, 68%, 71% to 72%. The total reached to 125 US dollars. The number looks like still much lower than the US number. US defense expenditure last year, 2022, is 767 billion US dollar. However, US number is uh, opaque number, clear, but Chinese number is hidden, many number hidden, like research or buy arms, they do not make announcement. So this number, 125, usually you need to triple or four times, then you can get the real number. Anyway, it's an increase, even though China's economy going down, uh, the import export has a hard situation, but the government, especially Xi's regime, still put the number very high for military PLA expenditure. So this means uh, what? This means uh, China has uh, stimulated further arm race with labor countries and all over the world, the US, Europe, Europe, and other countries. This increase, 7.2 percent, is much higher than America and Japan as a growth. Japan said in five years this number will reach to two percent of the GDP, gradually increase. America, the number increase even though from 2021 to 2022 has an increase, but the increase is two percent. So the highest increase rate still from China. So China used many excuses to put defense expenditure. He, it put the cause and effect opposite way. Sounds like uh, Taiwan uh, pursue independence, or the U.S. use Taiwan to, to be against CCP, to use any excuse. However, as I said, it's originated, started from CCP since last century, 90s. Every year, even double digits grows much higher than the GDP grows. What happened there because of uh, Tian Tiananmen massacre happened in 1989? The first purpose for the Chinese government, CCP regime, to increase uh, military spending is to uh, crack down the people. They think Chinese people, after the democracy movement, may have uprising. So first of all, they want to enhance their army, give more money to army is to target Chinese people. After that, they think they thought they have enough money to deal with Chinese people. Then they put the target to Taiwan. They use Taiwan as an excuse to increase expenditure, uh, military spending. Then recent years, they raised to another level they use the U.S. as a target to increase their uh, expenditure. So finally, this may, you know, uh, cause to U.S.-China uh, showdown. China's uh, GDP grows quickly, but uh, defense spending increased more quickly, uh, double or triple speed. So this is a threat. For the whole world and stimulate, we are stimulated further uh, arm race. So, this whole, whole world should wake up before, after the Cold War, after the Soviet Union collapsed. People, especially the West people, think everything is over. They all, the year of all, the year of arm race is gone. But now they, they may gradually. Uh, wake up, they realize actually a new all is approaching. A new arm race has been started almost 30 years from China, from Beijing.
So this whole world, this human being, has, has still have to spend a lot of money to arms, to military. Not only China, after China stimulated, like Japan, India, uh, Vietnam, Philippines, even Indonesia, Malaysia, and further to European countries, even Germany, and uh, of course the U.S. All the countries, even uh, related with Australia and New Zealand, all the countries have to raise their military spending. Is this meaningful? It's not meaningful. But some people make this word not meaningful. Some dictator want to control power, hate democracy, do not want to give people's rights. So they need, they need power, they need power themselves. The one of the weapons they need is guns or military or army, like the Pyongyang dictator Kim Jong-un need a strong army, need a army priority policy. Now it's China, it's Beijing. This word has low unrest time until dictatorship disappear. Thank you for watching. I uh, would like to see you next time. Please subscribe and like my channel. Thanks.